today I thought I'd do an updated meet my pets because I did one last summer but obviously there's been a few changes since then so I thought I'd just do an updated one just to get the kind of channel up and running again. I don't know how many vlogs or videos I'm going to make but I'm going to try update and put a few things up now and then. So I thought I'd first start off with the what was the guinea pig shed. Um, last summer I had about probably about 20 guinea pigs. Now I only have two so uh, there's one of them. I'm not quite sure if you can see. That's lion and then just laying down there the smaller one that's ginger nut um, lion sun so I decided to stop breeding the guinea pigs just for a few different reasons and most of them found lovely homes but I decided to keep those two because ginger nut is half blind he was born like it so it was hard finding him a home um, just because I guess not a, he's, he's a bit difficult to handle because he doesn't really he he doesn't see you coming so he does get a bit scared but he's doing really well, he loves living with his dad. There, there they are. It's a bit out of film because they, they live at the top here. Then right next to them is uh, my wild guinea pig. I'm not sure if I showed them in the last video. I probably only had him as well because I've only had one for quite a while now. Um, he's probably about, I don't, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. He's either about, he's in between like four and six years old. So he's quite old but he's still going strong. Um, I'll try and show you his. Oh, he, just, he just ran away. Um, he's kind of in. He's right in the back there. Let me see if I can. That's his house. It's chewed up. There he is. So that's the wild guinea pig. <laughs> um, so he just stays there because I obviously can't sell him. It's um, not very easy selling the wild guinea pigs because they're obviously an exotic animal. So. One major change is obviously I haven't got the guinea pigs, but I have got a few rabbits now. So I've got these little rabbits. They are called Neverland Dwarfs. This is Lilo. I'll open up her cage so you can see her better. There you go. So they are the world's smallest uh, rabbit breed. So they've got tiny little ears. Um, and I mean, this is my hand. So you can see she's not very big at all. She has currently got uh, three babies. So there's one. Can see his little face one little one there and one hiding behind there as well uh, all these babies are reserved and uh, we'll be going to lovely homes let me see if i can open it up there you go <laughs> there's two of them they are ever so cute <laughs> so this is lilo she's one of my does she's i think she's about one years old I'm not, i can't quite remember all their ages um so she's She's just chilling in her cage at the minute because she's obviously got the babies. So that's her. And then down here, let me see where she is. I think she's under here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see her very well. She's, she's hiding in the back. Uh, she's Her name is Aya. I don't remember if I... Oh, she's, there you go. This is I. She's actually Mini Rex. I got her off my friend. Um, she was the first rabbit that I got. Oh, she's a bit angry. <laughs> so the reason she's a bit grumpy is because she's recently been mated, so she might be pregnant. Um, so I got her last summer. I think it was last. Yeah, last summer. Um, just because I wanted another pet rabbit, and then I decided about probably about gosh, when was it? Uh, February. No, no earlier, it must have been about January time maybe that I wanted to start breeding Neverland Dwarfs again. I used to breed them about six or uh, seven, seven years ago now. And uh, I used to breed them and show them in Sweden. They were m m one of my favourite breeds. So I decided to get just a few more just to um, have some fun with and have a few litters from. So anyway, I'll quickly show you the rabbit houses. So I have two large blocks there, two large ones there, the guinea pigs up there, and then another two large hutches there. You might be wondering where the others are then, because I've only shown you two adults. They're actually all currently out on the grass, so I'll go around and I'll start showing you them as well. So this is where the other rabbits are currently. 
This is Sabrina, my favourite one. She's so sweet. Hello. And that's her baby Aurora, my first litter that I had from the Netherlands. I'm keeping her. She's very, very sweet as well. <laughs> Hello. They're very friendly, those two. Then in here I have, I'm not sure if you can see him. Hang on. So that's my buck. He's called Stitch. There he is. <laughs> Around here we have little Lilith. She's currently just, oh, oh she just ran away. And last but not least, here's Snow White. She's a pretty blue-eyed white rabbit. She actually has this one. <laughs> That's uh, Chip, the one I'm keeping. She's got three babies. One is called Chip that I'm keeping and the other two I'm selling. So that's all the rabbits that I have. Um, I've got the same dogs, um, Toby, Lizzie and Tia, and the same cats as well. And I've also got the horses, of course. So let me just go down to the field. Here they all are out in the field. There's little Finn, my sister's horse. Let me just climb through. So first of all, of course I have my baby Sammy still. Hopefully I'll forever have Sammy. Hello. Hey Sam! <laughs> There's little Sammy. <laughs> Not quite sure what he's looking at. <laughs> hey Sam! He recently had a haircut so he's got very short hair. <laughs> hey Sammy! <laughs> so Sammy's still here like I said. Um, I hope I will never have to sell him because I love him so much. The main difference from last summer from when I was vlogging is that I'm no longer really doing show jumping on him, I'm doing eventing. So this season was meant to be our first season at BE. However, obviously with Corona and everything, it's all been cancelled. So, he's just kind of chilling in the field at the minute with the other horses and hopefully once it's all over, we'll get him back out. If the eventing season, because they only run to about, uh, I think till about September time, I'm not quite sure, I'm not very good at the whole eventing stuff yet, but they don't run all throughout the winter, so there is a chance that we might not get to compete eventing this year, which is fine, um, we'll just do it next year instead, and I'll take him to a few show jumping competitions, because his show jumping has got a lot better, but here he is just eating some food. <laughs> Always eating. But not much has changed about Sammy, he's still, still the same old Sammy. <laughs> hey Samson! <laughs> but he loves the event, well, he loves the cross country, he, he loves show jumping as well. Pretty much hates the dressage, but <laughs> we'll get through it. <laughs> so, that's little Sammy. And then my second horse that I own is Harley. Now, there's quite a long story with Harley. Um, here she is, once again, also eating. Last, last time when I was vlogging, you probably, I'm not quite sure I ever really mentioned much about her. She was, I think she was featured in one of the vlogs when I was competing her, and then in my last vlog I explained that my sister was riding and competing her, and that was true. Here she is. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up to the stables because it's really um, bright out here, and it's blinding me. So, I have still got Harley. Um, I know a lot of people want to know the full story behind the whole situation with her because obviously I bought her, I do own her, but my sister rode and competes, competes her for about, I think about four or five months. So I thought I'll just quickly explain the whole story between uh, behind Harley and what went on. There, that's a bit better now, I'm not blinded by the sun. So um, we got her Harley last... Uh, March and she came over from Ireland from our friends and so we knew all her background and everything about her however when we got her uh, we soon it was all fine in the beginning I was quite nervous on her like I think I explained in some previous vlogs because 
I'd only been riding Sammy for a year, so I was very used to him, and Harley was extremely different to him, so it took a while to get used to. Um, but either way, we, I was riding Harley, and my sister was riding Harley, because the plan was, the original plan, was to, for me and my sister to compete her during that summer, and then I think we were actually meant to sell her on for a profit. She was, she was never really meant to stay, <laughs> but obviously she has, because she's here now. So, Harley had done some beer classes previously, so my sister was going to compete around some, maybe some 110s and stuff, and I was just going to do like the smaller 91s, because that's what I'm comfortable with. Um, so, it started about, I can't really remember, maybe like a month after, a month or two after we had Harley, she suddenly started um, stopping a lot. <laughs> Um, I know a lot of you have seen her results as well and I've posted some videos of her before stopping and this we weren't none of us knew why she was doing this it was very odd um, but anyway we kept on trying I took her to a few competitions uh, I think it was at my second competition with her I fell off in the 70 centimeters at the third jump because <laughs> she stopped and I kind of went flying off um, and then my sister rode her a lot for me and helped me and then I'd get on her and we'd try again, but she'd still, unfortunately, stop. So it got to that point where we had to make a decision, you know, what are we going to do? This, we can't keep doing what we were doing because it obviously wasn't working. So we decided that my sister would just come beat her for a while and ride her for a while um, just to see if she could get her back going properly. And she did for a little bit. She was going a lot better. So we thought I'd give it another go. So I did one more competition with her and well I couldn't get her to jump at all she kind of the first jump she <laughs> that was Oliver um, she crashed through kind but she did jump it and then a few jumps later she stopped her and then I got her over it and then another like the second to last jump she wanted to stop I pushed her over it and she kind of landed down on top of the jump. It wasn't very nice, so I decided to retire from that competition. Um, after this, I was very, very upset because obviously I'd bought her and wanted to compete her, and that was kind of the main goal. But it was turning out not to be <laughs> as easy as we thought. So we decided that, well, I made the decision that I didn't want Harley anymore. There was no point in me keeping her for myself because I couldn't get her to jump so <laughs> I didn't enjoy riding her there was just no point so I officially gave her to my sister to completely ride and compete I would I didn't even go near her if I'm honest I just kind of acted as if she was my sister's and my sister did that for probably another two three two two months maybe and she, she so Harley would, she would still stop, so the first class, like the 90 centimetre, my sister would go in and she'd randomly stop and then she'd go into the next class, the one metre, and go clear and place. It was very bizarre. But anyway, I didn't want to keep her because I didn't, I didn't really particularly like her at the time. So we, she went up for sale um, and we had quite a lot of interest in her actually. I was just advertising her as kind of a low level all rounder type horse. She had done cross country previously in her old home so I said to people that obviously she could potentially be a, a, a little eventer but I hadn't taken her cross country myself so I didn't actually know what she was like. So a lot of people asked for videos of her cross country and I didn't have any so I decided to ride her for the first time since probably about two, three months, two months maybe. I hadn't sat on her at all for a few months, but I was so determined to sell her that I decided to get on her and take her around a small cross country course and get some videos. And I did, and she was fine. She didn't refuse any. Um, she felt okay. I was very, very nervous though. Um, but we got round and we got some videos, but the jumps were very, very tiny. They were super small, but it was something at least. So after that, um, we had a lot, few more interests in her, a few viewings, a couple of viewings I think, um, and then 
I thought about it some more and I thought she did quite well on that cross country so why don't she was, at this point I was retraining Sammy to be an inventor so I found a cross country coach and he had like a small cross country course at his place so we decided to take Harley along to one of the lessons as well as Sammy so I'd first go around on Sammy and then I'd go around on Harley and this is where everything changed so the first lesson where I brought Harley along was amazing she jumped at everything, no refusals, she felt really happy, really forward kind of like a different horse really and I loved her, I really, I really loved her that was a, probably, I'd say that's a, that was the first ride that I actually really enjoyed riding her so we decided to bring her back I think just like a week later when I was going back for another lesson on Sammy and obviously my cross country uh, trainer he knew I told him what about Harley that she was you know she stopped a lot and I couldn't get to jump and I was pretty much terrified of show jumping her so we once then we did the same thing we jumped around the cross country course perfectly and I was gaining some more confidence in her we were both really enjoying it and then at the end he decided that maybe we should just try pop her around one of the little courses on his grass field it was only about 80 centimeters max it was quite small and despite me being very very nervous I agreed to do that and we popped around it perfectly fine uh, my riding wasn't the best because I was quite nervous but she didn't feel like she was gonna refuse and she well I didn't she, yeah she didn't feel like she was gonna refuse and she felt like um, yeah like kind of a like a different horse really it was it was quite strange so after that lesson it really got me thinking I thought and at this time we still had people wanting to view her someone that pretty much wanted to buy her um, and there was something just put me off from selling her and just I thought about it for a while and I decided that I need to give her a second chance because something happened out on that cross country field with her and it was like a different horse and I really really enjoyed riding her so we took her adverts down <laughs> told people that she was no longer for sale and that I changed my mind and well so from there I decided that I'd give her one month completely off from jumping she did not look at a single jump uh, during that time she was doing light hacking um, very very light schooling if any to be honest I was just working on getting her forward enjoying riding her just kind of well trying to create a bond with her and just find just figuring her out a bit more so we did that and she was really happy going very well and we then decided that it was time to try her some show jumps so i brought her to my coach's place again once again i was having a lesson with sammy so i thought i'd bring her along and ironically this day sammy was having a very bad day it was probably one of my worst lessons on him so he I'm not quite sure what was going on with him, but he just didn't particularly fancy jumping, so it didn't go very well. Um, so that kind of put my confidence down a bit. And then it was my first time jumping Harley properly for, well, since the summer when I competed her, competed her, I guess. So probably about three months, four months maybe. So I was very nervous on her, um, but we started off just very small and she felt fine, she was going very much just forward towards the jump, she felt like she wanted to jump and it went, yeah, it was, it was absolutely fine. So we put them up, once again it was only about 80 centimetres because we didn't want to push her or myself, we didn't want to knock our confidence, but she jumped around everything absolutely fine, there wasn't even a hesitation in her, it was, it's kind of hard to explain how different she was from when I used to jump her. So it went it went so well. I had probably the biggest smile on my face after that lesson. And from there it's just been going amazing with her. I'm um, what what is it now? About six months down the line now. I've been competing her. I've done loads of British novices, but the open ones because she's got too many points. And I think we well, we've been clearing every single one. And we've been placed in all of them apart from one, I think, which was our first one when I was just a bit slow because I was a bit nervous. And then recently we just started doing some discoveries as well. And um, obviously because of lockdown, once again, it's pushed us back and we can't compete at the minute. But I had just moved up to doing discoveries and we've got around, we 
just literally a couple, few weeks before lockdown we got round our first discovery and um, we did have one stop but it wasn't her fault it was just I came on a bad stride and it was, it was just one of those kind of things so I wasn't bothered about it but then she, she flew around the rest of the course absolutely amazing so yeah that's kind of like a short story about Harley's background I'm sure I've probably missed some stuff out it's quite hard to explain it all in one go because it it was a long process and we we still do not know to this day why she was like that when we the first probably our first five months we had her I have my suspicions and I possibly might know why she might have been like that but at the same time I can't read her mind so I honestly don't know I mean at the end of the day they are horses and well <laughs> I guess if they don't like to challenge us then it wouldn't be fun <laughs> but um, she certainly is still a chestnut mare though she still does test me a few times but I honestly love her to bits now I couldn't even imagine selling her now we I love competing her I love jumping her we've recently been jumping some 110s at home it's yeah it's incredible it's like a different horse I'll chuck some videos in so you can see the difference it's um yeah it's quite amazing. We've had a just over a year now, and uh, if you asked me this time last year if I ever thought I'd be competing successfully around 90s, even winning some and then doing the one meters, I would have probably laughed and told you, no way, that horse is going, I don't want her. But here we are. So I guess it kind of shows that maybe sometimes you've just got to wait it all out and give the horse a second chance, and it's turned out to be amazing and I yeah I really can't believe it and I'm really excited to see what the future holds for me and Harley um, obviously I don't know how long we'll keep Harley the intention was never to keep her forever because um, I, I want to keep Sammy forever he's like my heart horse um, so it completely depends obviously I'm working full-time although not currently because I'm furloughed but when I go back to work um, I've been juggling them fine two horses isn't a problem but I mean, yeah, we'll see what the future holds, but for now I'm just so pleased that I did keep her and I took her to that cross country lesson with my trainer. If I hadn't bought her there, then I would have sold her and she would have been gone. So I'm just so, so pleased that I gave her that second chance because, yeah, I, there's no other, the feeling she gives going around those courses is just incredible. So, so yeah, that's kind of the story between her, um, about Harley. It's quite long and like I said, it's uh, a lot to fit in in one video, but hopefully it just gives you all a little bit of a better understanding of exactly what happened, because I know a lot of you saw her up for sale and then suddenly I kept her, so I know there's a lot of questions going around as to what, what was going on. But yeah, that's kind of the story between Harley. So Harley, I'll be focusing on the show jumping. I'd really like to compete her up to um, one metre successfully, so get some placings in it and then maybe hopefully move up to some 105s i doubt i'll do 110s because <laughs> i find them too big at the minute that's fine and with sammy i just hope to have fun and just uh, hopefully do some more eventing but that may have to wait until next summer so yes that's kind of a bit of an update on what's going on hopefully i'll do some more videos i'm probably going to do a daily routine because I know a few of you wanted to see one of those so I'll do that um, I'll add in a few different clips into this video from when I've just spoken to, about Harley so you can see what's been going on one thing I'd just like to add in about Harley is that recently um, I've actually been running her in Hackamore and she seems to really enjoy it so hopefully once we get back out competing um, I can try it out at a competition and fingers crossed it goes well and that I can keep her in the Hackamore because she does seem a lot happier in it so yeah, so that's kind of this video. Um, I'm not quite sure there's much else to talk to or show. Like I said, that was all my animals. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see, then let me know. But apart from that, I think that's everything. The horses are having a day off today, so they're all out in the fields. Um, then tomorrow I'm probably going to be doing some jumping with them. So that should be so fun. Um, obviously I'll post some videos on my Instagram, cr.showjumper. So, but apart from that, that's everything for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!